Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back, Kiko Cheese Outdoors. Late season commercial blackfish trip. Now, Bill, I can say we're on a commercial trip, right? Yes. That's okay. Yeah, because the other the other season's closed. Yep. We're allowed 25 fish a day in New York State. All right, so I can say commercial. All right, we're out there putting this baby to this test again. The Truth SG. I've been trying to beat it up all year, been fishing hard on striped bass and on blackfish and old bottom fish. She's holding up, baby. The uh, review will be coming up soon. I'm still waiting to hear from Justin from Truth Reels. I reached out to him about the clicker issue that I personally have with it, the clicker issue. I'll get into that uh, on the review. But uh, still waiting to hear back from those guys. We'll see what happens, all right? Then that review will be out, I promise. All right, so what we do today, we went out on Captain Bill's 31-foot JC Custom, all right? We went out there to do some commercial fishing, all right? I was out there with Captain Bill, Captain Roy Manger, and uh, we went out there and hit a couple, all right? So we're gonna start this one off. We're gonna start this off with the first fish, all right? This bad boy has 20 pounds of drag, so we're locking loaded 50 pounds of braid to 60-pound mono uh, tippet, all right? So that's what we're using. Let's go on to this first fish. This is all your blackfish. Watch the rod action when you see this fish bite. Guess that day. Oh, what do we got there? Hey, got something. Oh, that's oh, that's hey folks, blackfish are all about power. They don't have a forked tail like a Dorado, which is for speed. They have, they, we call them broom tails. They're huge and they're very powerful. They get all that powerful from propulsion with their tail. So you really want a reel that has a significant drag to it, all right? You want to be able to power those fish up and let that rod just be the shock absorber for your drag, if you will, all right? You don't want that that fish to be able to pull line and get into structure and the game is over. Yeah. I'm not going to get a picture of you. Boy, Chloe, let's talk to everybody. Hey, don't leave me. That's why we fish with Captain Bill on the normal. He's the king of the bottom fish. All right, there's Roy setting the hook up there. It's hard to see on the video, but uh, he's set into a nice fish right now. You can see he's bringing up really slow, right? These fish coming up the column really slow. We're putting these fish to market, so they have to look nice. They don't want them blowing out, look like Marty Feldman, all right? That's the case of the, what we're doing here. It's a commercial trip, and that's that. All right, so here's Roy catching another one. Sure, got this. All right, I got a hook Don't even say that. You're going to say that? You're going to... Another cod, another, another, another decent cod. Oh, yeah, it's gonna work. We'll keep the cod. Oh. But what are you gonna do? We'll take the cod. Captain Roy? We'll take yeah, the cod. Yeah, we'll take the we'll cod. Take that cod. Anything. We'll back on. It'll be one for the uh. I think it'll be one for the skipper. I hope. Here it comes. Oh, I like the cod. It's a cod. Another cod. In the top of the head. The king of cod. Cod. That's not a cod. This is a cod. Over to Bay Park Fishing Station. Go to see my boy Mark over here. In case of Deech, <laughs> and some fuel. All right, so Captain Bill wanted me to take a walk inside, take a peek at the Bay Park Fishing Station. Inside, we got the owner Mark. How you done? All right, he's got everything. Basically everything. He makes the uh, new field and stream look like a joke. At the fishing station, everything you need is here. There's no doubt about that. Uh, Good quality stuff. It just when you open back up. Uh, March, March 21st, we're going to reopen. Bay Park Fishing Station is back open March 21st. Alright, go in there, they got everything. Tony Maj, uh, Tidal Tales, a case of dishes, and they also have a couple of many of the mooches in the back. Shake it and easy. Alright. Huh? Where am I going with this? I gotta look at my notes. There's really something wrong with you. Uh, Alright. Oh. We're going to me right now, hook it up into a big fish. Fish now takes off, goes up all right? That doesn't happen often. It's a good sign though, that means you got a big fish on, alright? This is a big boy taking it up. For those of you who don't blackfish, these fish may not look enormous like the big bass that we catch. They fight 
a lot better, all right? This happens to be my favorite fish, all right? A lot of people can catch striped bass. You know, the chubby people can. However, trophy blackfish, and none of these are trophy, these are the biggest fish here, I think is 11 pounds. But trophy blackfish, that's that's accomplishments, all right? Shaking these, and also you gotta put your big boy pants on because you freeze your beans off out there, all right? Look at that, got snow in the back there. Doesn't scare the kid, all right? Shaking these, thanks for watching, here we go. Hi right, folks, this uh, Truth SG has a 6.1 gear ratio, right? So every crank of that, that arm, I'm bringing that fish up 38 inches of the column. So I'm just taking it really slow and basically taking it easy on the fish. There's no rush here. These fish are, like I said, they have to be nice going to market and you don't want to uh, really blow them up as they come up. The kid's hot. He's hot. Look at kid. What happened? Yes, that's correct. We're in a con shadow right now. Who is it? It's Marco Scarva. Where's Marco from? I'm not sure. But I know he caught this fish, this monster right here. Look at it. That one right there. He caught it over in Port Jeff. He had a killer year this year, he said, on Bunker. And uh, he invited the kid to fish for him next year. Maybe I'll pop out there, film a little episode for you to watch. Get in the ditch and it made a mooch, all right? Again, congratulations, Mark Scarter. Right there, it's Marco Scarter. I may be, maybe a dime, who knows? Get the ditch, made a mooch. Hey, Mike, what's Get the ditch mean again? Get the ditch means like, what do you say? Okay, How you, you doing? <laughs> Let's get back to fishing. All right, folks, today we're using white crabs, all right? Small white crabs. But first, listen to Roy. He doesn't know he's being filmed. Doing. He's singing to himself. <laughs> that is 100% atrocious. All right. Roy's fishing that double rig that I call the uh, bottom fish rig that I showed you in the old videos. As a matter of fact, it's this video right here. Take a peek at it if you don't know how to tie it. Uh, and he's basically just crushing those bad boys and sending them down the water column, hitting the bottom, and uh, feeling it. You know me, I'm old school, single hook, red, gamagatsu, four out. All right, folks, this next catch is a weird one. We knew Madonna was in town, and she went to a local salon, got her waxing, and apparently uh, the DEC found out that they were uh, dumping their stuff in the ocean. And what are the odds of this? Guess a dish. How you doing? Captain Bill Straub, the normal fishing charters. Uh, check out my website, fishnova.com. Come down, all in shore species, weather permitting, all year round. My bottom line, people, you gotta look at uh, Captain Bill. Go out there, follow the website again, right there. Hey, John Lee. All right, Captain Bill specializes in all in shore species. South Shore, Long Island. Get there, tell me no kid coat cheese. Shake of these, take care. See any wind out there? Don't brush your hair. Shut up. <laughs> Shake it easy.